All right, I guess we should do this fucking shit. Ooh, ooh. Here we are having sex. <clears throat> Is it where we going? Did you hit play? Yeah, I hit record. <laughs> nice. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. Hello, uh, everyone. We guy. We haven't guy six. We're here in Sydney, New South Wales. Mm-hmm. Um, Today is Wednesday night. Stop telling people. What do you think? Are the news? <laughs> yeah, I'm do you gay. think this, this show Hello, is I'm Walter the news. Gay. Me and Christ. Stop just did a bad show that Adam was too much of a coward to do because he was crying about? About, about the Dodgers <laughs> blowing it. <laughs> yeah, you were you were fucking in your Kike Hernandez. He had jersey. to call his dad and have a cry session on the phone. It was a rough game one. He's but like, we'll this is just tomorrow. like the Holocaust. <laughs> <laughs> it's all just, right, all right. It's everything's just like, like the, the Holocaust. Holocaust. He didn't say it was just <laughs> like the Holocaust. The World Series is like the Holocaust today. And then I went to Baskin Robbins and they were out of the oatmeal raisin cookie and I. <laughs> Said, this is just like the Holocaust. <laughs> he said worse. And then than the I went Holocaust. out to the parking lot and I locked my keys in the car and I said, "This is just like the Holocaust." <laughs> <laughs> and then one of my shoes was untied and I said, "This is just like the Holocaust." <laughs> Those things could have very. Feasibly, very like in the Holocaust, it could have happened. How many people? Any of those things? How many people in your family got got? There, anybody? My my mom's dad lost like all of his. Damn. Damn. It's like that soap that kills ninety nine point nine percent of bacteria. <laughs> and you're like, but don't wash your hands because the point one percent it leaves. <laughs> And that you, was you're talking about Jewish people. <laughs> you're talking about your the, your family specifically. Your family, you know. Yeah, yeah. Look, oh, I'm not an anti semite. I just don't yeah. like you just and your my family. family. Yeah. All right, that's. I fine. think the Holocaust was a fucking atrocity, dude, and it's that's real, right. and it's like one of the most depressing. As long things as you're not painting ever broad happened broad in human strokes. history, but if your family was in there, <laughs> well, I guess it's not all bad. <laughs> I guess enough of linings, us dude. got out to produce me. So that's the silver linings playbook. That's page number one. Say the Holocaust was good. Yep. <laughs> I don't think it was. Did, good. That's Here's Jennifer Lawrence's character. Did you actually Holocaust look liar? in the playbook? Because mm-hmm. that's the first page. Is the what about all the good things Hitler did? <laughs> yeah. No, that Robert movie De Niro, was not yep. about Hitler. Yeah. Yes, it was about it was. the Eagles. Robert De Niro loved the Philadelphia Hitler Eagles and he was Bradley like, Cooper. He was like the um, mental illness. It is kind of a face impression, so it's not really going to come what are across. You trying to do? He's doing Bobby De Niro's De Niro. frown, the yeah. classic <laughs> frown. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even look at you. I'm but doing I the knew face. You, you guys know it. the face I'm doing. The hey. frown. Oh come on, uh, you know the, the uh, fucking Jews. Looks more like Silvio from The Sopranos. Sil, Sil, yeah. Sil does a n- very nice frown. Yeah, iconic Tom. frown. I told him I was gay, <laughs> and he fucked me in my ass. Don't. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> So, I told the guy I was gay. You fucked told my I, ass. Told the guy I was gay. You filled my ass with cum. You know, what are you going to do? Fuck my ass until I, until I came. <laughs> Tone, Tone, I'm fucking Tone. gay yeah. too, Tone. Tone. <laughs> there was a guy. <laughs> fuck my ass. You would let these guys fuck you. Uh, I was trying to do Paulie. Yeah. You let him. Uh. I was the gayest guy in the army. Yeah. <laughs> I was the oh, gayest you should have seen me. I was the gayest guy in the Wait, house. no, no, no. What's the actual line where he talks about the guy taking pictures of him? I, he was like, he we, was had a, we, had a, we had a pull up contest. I did, yeah, something yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I told you, you hear what I said? I said, do you remember your first blowjob? <laughs> I said, what was the guy's name? <laughs> Adam Self, what's his name the other day? Oh, it I was did, incredible. I did, what's I'm his so name mad myself. that didn't happen on the podcast. It would have been. Listen, guys, I'm constantly creating gold. I'm your, oh, as I've said before, I'm your muse. You're suck dickle and tin skin. <laughs> what's that? <laughs> Rumble still skin, Rumble. but. Suckle you dim suck skin. dickle imp skin. That's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, whatever he says, what you are. Yeah, I am suck dickle. I agree with that. <laughs> no, like rumple still skin. I am dickle. sufficiently owned. Anyway, um, <coughs> anyway, so it's great to be in Sydney. Thanks to everyone. No, no, who came no, no, out. no, 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 no. We're gonna talk about how you self what's his name for a second. Okay, here. we were talking about Alvin and <coughs> the chip. No, you will not be doing it. Mm-hmm. Why? I yeah, we I, will I, be yeah. talking about. You will not Sometimes control. I was just as mar- uh, just Stop as trying to control the narrative, bro. No, okay. you're going to destroy it's like the how narrative. they let the like Jews be in do. charge of the Holocaust Museum. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and it's like, uh, you got owned. I don't think you get to tell the story. <laughs> it should be run by Germans. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, dude. They were the ones that dunked. 
Then you'd trust the Jews to be like, oh, yeah, okay, we got burned, but here's how it happened. Yeah, that's funny. There's probably 30 million that died. It's very funny. They're like, it was only 6 million. It wasn't that big of a it deal. It wasn't that big a deal. <laughs> the, Germans, <laughs> the Germans should have done it, yeah. Yeah. And I think that 5 to 95% of the audience really liked that bit. So You mean 2%? You think we have 2% Nazi? Oh, I thought you meant Jews. No. You think ninety uh, five? Yeah, two percent of two percent of the world, ninety nine point eight percent of the wor- world's wealth. Yeah, that's fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> that's a totally right, you true regale, statistic. You <laughs> <laughs> Look that up. A single one in the towers. <laughs> all right, they just, all. Why did they all call in sick that day? Yeah, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Like mm. every just rank and file <laughs> Jewish person was told mm. there's an Israeli conspiracy <laughs> to destroy. We're gonna bomb they the got world. A <laughs> They got a like, fax I, from It's the very idea. important <laughs> that you don't tell anyone. Mossad's. <laughs> <laughs> no, it wasn't. God, that's so fucking funny. Every Jew called in sick that day. <laughs> Listen, it was a tragedy. A lot of Jews almost died. <laughs> yeah. That, um, just say the thing. <clears throat> Don't tell me when to say it, motherfucker. I'll yeah, say don't, start, I don't start making demands. Adam's been peeing sitting down this whole trip. <laughs> no, I haven't. I've refused to listen to you. <laughs> Nick made a request that I pee to sit down because he wouldn't. He doesn't like how it would look <laughs> if, it got if out. he let me stand up while if I If it peed. got out that you were standing up and peeing. <laughs> God damn it. He doesn't like how that would look. <laughs> it would be this a tour PR. has been so fun. Adam, it would be a PR nightmare, and you yeah. know it. I'm not taking pictures of myself pissing. If it got out, unlike you, sir. What? On your. Why are you turning this on me, man? Golden shower based, get chub chubby chaser. <coughs> I've never done a Instagram golden shower pic. account, and I have great content. Everyone, please follow at Stavi Baby Two S T A V V Y Baby Two for beautiful body positive images that media today is frankly not doing enough of, and I'm trying to fill that void. The way I'm about to fill Adam's mouth with my two f- hairy nuts. That's mm. disgusting stuff. I would well. never let you fill my mouth. <laughs> Adam's salivating. Yeah. Not He's, He's wearing a bib. He just put a bib on. His I body's allergies. betraying him. It's like, that's disgust- <laughs> disgusting. <laughs> just so disgusting. My eyes. I wish I could God. stop drooling all over you. <laughs> I literally just had a... Oh, never yeah, mind. dude. Dasha was keeping you safe for a week. <laughs> Me and the boys have been at the Dasha gates. Left. Yeah. <laughs> when is this store open for business? <laughs> I Excuse love how me, much you Dasha? respect her. Yeah. And the, 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 Dasha, can me, we please least. call Adam gay? <laughs> well, me and Stav are busy keeping her safe from all those Japanese men. That's what just, are you talking about? <laughs> well, you were trying on kimonos. <laughs> <laughs> women's kimonos, to be clear. Yeah, right. No, they the were wedding dress. Kimonos. The yeah. wedding costumes kimonos. for women. No, they were a, it was a male's dress <laughs> that I was wearing. A men's dress. Uh, Culturally appropriate. <laughs> So we were we were talking about Alvin and the Chip, and I I was saying how we're basically Alvin and the Chip. We represent right. each one. Oh, the one with the hat. Stav's the, the fat cute, one. I'm the adorable one. I'm the, the glasses. The cute one. And Adam's the Jewish one. Adam's the, the Jewish, Jewish gay one. With the glasses. Nervous. Uh, and so I, I said that when we were looking at a picture, and we we're like, oh my god. And Nick's like, wow, that is us. And then Adam says, who's that adult guy that they live with? Yeah. <laughs> That's who Adam wanted to know about. <laughs> That was a fair question. I don't want to know about the man. <laughs> like, what's, what's that guy's name? What's that man? What's his what's name? What's the human's man's name? Can I name? get the more information on that guy? <laughs> so I'm not allowed to ask literally when anyone. Bro, the, you're allowed. What that anyone's was the name first, is. That's the first question the you first, had. The first, the only you. We're talking about Alvin and the Chipmunks, and you're like, is that guy single? I didn't ask if he was single. Yes, you but did. But it turns out he was very handsome. We looked at pictures. <laughs> for a no, you looked at pictures. Me and Stav were too busy laughing. Yeah, no, that was you guys one of weren't the f- laughing. You were that so was one of the best things that's ever happened to me. You self, what's his name? <laughs> it was so funny. Stop is like it could all end, Adam. All all the torment could end if you just admit just that admit, that's funny. Admit and it's then, funny. And then I said, I said I'll never admit that's funny. Stop. <laughs> and then on the walk, you were uh, when we were away from Dick, he was like, just admit it, Adam. Yeah, I was like, just, just admit just it's funny. Me, and I said, I will. N- Listen, was nine eleven a great, ex- a very well executed plan? You know, did they follow through on their plans? There yes. comes the silver linings playbook. But you can't <laughs> you can't tell the terrorists that. Right, right, right. Just like I can't tell Nick that myself what's his name. 
and his <laughs> immediate <laughs> ridicule. It was beautiful, dude. It was. What's I, the silver lining play? It's just filled with stuff that's like you get caught with child pornography, but mm-hmm. you learned how to about downloads. But the Eagles, you, now, yeah, now you, you learn when computers. the world's yeah, You know all about the plus terabyte. side is you know how computers work. That's right. You know mm-hmm. fucking. Solid state drive, you know what that is now, because mm-hmm. you're not. What are you? Mm-hmm. What are you not using an SSD for mm-hmm. that shit? That's right. You want to. You want to access your child pornography quickly. <clears throat> you can't wait the extra second. No, you need. Did to someone have... do a bit about how like your Bitcoin's worth so much money now, but there was all these people that b- got it to buy child pornography, <laughs> and now they're and rich. Now they're, now they're rich. <laughs> 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 I that's guess that's awesome. the silver lining. Has, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Has someone done that as a bit? I don't know. Clever. I don't know if I've heard it. It seems so obvious that. Well, yeah, it was nah. also people buying drugs, too, and pedophiles. Yep. Well, that's the, what Nick said. The second thing you said is the first thing you yeah. said. So let's go ahead. Now, you can just repeat exactly what I said. As if this I is... said, in addition to pedophiles, there was also people buying drugs. <laughs> I was adding to what you said. Um, that was not a repeat. That I wasn't don't a think copy. I don't think it's that obvious. I think that's pretty funny. The, the same way I don't think what we, the other thing we were laughing about is that obvious. The, the gay, a gay guy um, uh, uh, proposing to another man by get, by getting on his knee. I'm putting a ring on his dick. Putting a ring on his dick. I think that's probably nah, man. I think no. that's probably out there. No chance, dude. We came up with that. That's Nick, brother. <coughs> yeah. <coughs> Adam's never come up with a bit in his goddamn life. That's not true. I've come up with plenty of bits. Not Legendary a single bits. thing in his goddamn life. <laughs> in his fucking life. But then, <laughs> hey, everyone, by the way, who came to Sydney, the comedy store, shouts out to them. Thank great you so shows. much for coming. Those were great shows. Stamp Many show of you came for, tw- for both. Live and we want to suck great. you and we want to fuck you for that one. So appreciate you. Malbin, we'll be there shortly, my little sluts. Friday, Friday night. Still some tickets left to the stand up show. The podcast is already sold out. I so thought they were both that. sold out. No? I think Brizzy, Brizzy, Brizzy they're sold, both sold out. I think Brizzy podcast sold out, but the oh really? Well, listen, sh- just try and buy tickets if you just live. Just everyone buy whatever is available. Mm-hmm. And uh, we owe a lot of guys a lot of money. My spine hurts. From what? what from? Dude? I don't know. It's fucking hurts. Getting is that sw- where you're getting cranky? Ass fucked, maybe. I'm not cranky. What are you talking about? Did you get your cheeks. You're projecting cranky? that you're cranky. We had a lovely walk today, and then you came back and we did it as a crank. I did not. I was not in a crank mood. Anyway, we didn't do shit today. We were gonna do stuff. I'm done doing shit. You, oh, you we found start. we might be going on an international tour. <laughs> yeah, so. we might literally do might, a world yeah. tour. It's it's this is pretty crazy, but we might be literally going on a world tour. <laughs> yeah, and touring for three months. Mm-hmm. Lagos, Nigeria. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What we will Tora be the Bora. best comedians in Nigeria. <laughs> The thing Nigerian people like is to be talked to like this. <laughs> Hello, my brothers. Yeah. It is I, Star Frost. Have you ever noticed when you go down. to buy sandals, but they do not have any sandals at the <laughs> sandal store? <laughs> and you have to walk home without shoes on, and you say, why didn't I just wear my other sandals to the sandal store? <laughs> Every time you do this, and they're like, that is true. Every that time. That is so true. You think that you will get the sandals there, <laughs> but they like, are closed. <laughs> yeah, they really like, do be like stop, that. Please stop talking like that. <laughs> uh. <laughs> we can see you. They <laughs> <laughs> yeah. just not friends that come down. Yeah. They just think comedy is coming to Nigeria. <laughs> right. <That's> so funny. <laughs> they think it is an opportunity for business networking. <laughs> <laughs> right, every, Nigerians think every public event is a business meeting. Hell yeah, dude! Mm. Nigerians fucking love Tons college too. Yeah. For creating ultimate money, so true. Yeah, creating we ultimate. Yeah, go. Where way. are you going? Get off my back! I am going to a business meet and greet with the Come Town Podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I would love they to hear are, some. They are American business entrepreneurs from America. Listen, if you're a Nigerian entrepreneur, mm-hmm. pitch me. Mm-hmm. Let's do Shark Tank. Sob's I'm trying get to invest, off. dude. I would love, I would love to lose all of my money investing in weird Nigerian businesses. 
<laughs> you have heard of limousines, but what about stretch sandals? <laughs> <laughs> you and, and all four, you and you up up to all four of, your of your friends, friends. <laughs> can wear the same pair of sandals. <laughs> <laughs> and you go, you all walk around together. <laughs> that way, because it is one pair of sandals, when you get to the sandal store, three of your friends can buy normal sandals <laughs> and wear the normal sandals home, and you maintain the limousine size sandals. <laughs> <That's> so good. <laughs> to, to keep for yourself. Mm-hmm. And this will solve the problem of, and in case the sandal store is closed, <laughs> you will wear the limousine sandals back home. Dude, I'm sold on stretch sandals. Yeah. Coming up, a Nigerian shark tag. I want $12 to buy a lemonade. (laughs) 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 What is your business idea? Did I drink the lemonade? Okay, fine. Yeah, you can have that. (laughs) I'll give you $6, and then you bring me half the lemonade to drink for me. <laughs> and then we, I get a uh, 10% on all your piece from now <laughs> yeah, on. Yeah. I get a 10% stake on your piece. Yeah. <laughs> Nigerian shark tank. Um, Just, I would like to have dinner. They're like <laughs> 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 Um was it have you said Nigerian cinema? I want to watch a whole Nigerian movie. Nollywood. All I see is the the clips online, and they look yeah. incredible, oh, yeah. dude. No, Ugandan cinema is the best. Is that Ugandan? Uh huh. The one where it's all like the special effects are all bullshit, and it's that baby, yeah. and that oh my god <laughs> clip, which well, is one yeah, of the yeah, best really clips good. of all time. Yeah, that guy yeah. crying. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I cannot wait to be a Hollywood director. <laughs> So I'm going on Nigerian Shark Tank to pitch my movie idea where the, it is a pair of sandals that has a projector <laughs> inside of it. <laughs> and this will play the movie or this is the movie? Or can you sp- that way, clarify? The projector in the sandals will, wherever you are walking, it goes forward. So it will project the wall in front of you and you can pretend you are walking to someplace nicer than your house. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. And what I really want is twelve dollars <laughs> to go buy a lemonade. <laughs> <laughs> lemonade in Nigeria is really expensive, man. <laughs> you gotta <laughs> import the lemons, dude. That's not native to Nigeria. They don't got any lemons out there. No, no, they're lemons. Where do lemons grow? That's the idea. We bring lemons to Nigeria. Lemons baby. are citrus, right? Yeah, Florida, C- Florida. Yeah, Australia also has has citrus because in Japan. I bought an orange and it had a little kangaroo on it. Really? Yes, sir. Did you eat a Japanese pear when we were there? I did not. They're very good. Well, you were hoarding all the Japanese pears, man. You didn't have to tell. You didn't tell anybody else about them. No, I was on the go one day. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I bet you were. I was. I was on. The, I was on the go. Mm-hmm. With who? With my girl. What's his name? This is a Nigerian guy going on Shark Tank, <laughs> where his idea is like a door that's on wheels. <laughs> so you can go anywhere. You can open any door. <laughs> you can end up in any room you want. <laughs> you bring the, no, this is where. Haven't you always wanted to go through a door? <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps to the beach. I like the beach, but there are no doors to go yeah, through. Yeah, when you go to the beach, there's no door to walk through. <laughs> How does it? It does not even you feel a like door you are at place. the beach. <laughs> <laughs> you about, you bring around. your own door to the beach <laughs> And that way you can open the door for your friends To be a doorman <laughs> even at the beach <laughs> <laughs> Oh fuck <laughs> What's the biggest city in Nigeria? <laughs> Lagos. I, would love, Lagos. I would love a sketch It's just Nigerian Shark Tank mm-hmm. It's just like they say no to the door guy, and then a man walks out with his arms outstretched, and he's covered in cotton balls glued to him, but his penis is hanging out. And he's like, my friends. And they're like, no. <laughs> it's just massive Nigerian cotton. No, you have to leave. <laughs> Absolutely But not. you have not even heard my business idea. <laughs> mm. <laughs> oh, fuck, dude. That's a big-ass city, though, right? Nigeria is the richest country in Africa. Yeah, they're probably rich as hell. They took over from my native land. 
uh-huh. of South Africa, which was the, the white devil. Yeah, was the Nigerians bread basket are, of Africa. Nigerians yeah. are obsessed Kubian. with being businessmen. Yeah, dude. Well, they they've have been oil. scamming their way to shit. No, they have a they have a lot of oil. Nah, it's mostly in- email scams. It is the Prince email scam guy, but mm-hmm. it is also oil. Yeah, I believe. I and hip hop. So. They've exported a lot of hip hop really? around the world. Ooh, this is a great Wiz website. Kid. That's Nigeria right. Nigeria Business News. Businessnews.com.ng. <laughs> uh huh. Oh, God. What's the first? Uh, this is a tough. This is a real slippery slope here. I yeah, like. I know. But let's go down it for a sec. DMO extends N100 billion suck hawk offer. <laughs> That's what awesome. the fuck is suck hawk? <laughs> no, you're making that up. No, yeah, suck hawk, I guess, is their money. Nuh-uh. They, yeah. they buy things with <laughs> suck hawks? No Can I have way. 10 suck hawks, please? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, sorry. Suck hawk is the Arabic name for financial certificates. Uh, what are, that's pretty what good, too. Also that. commonly referred to as Sharia-compliant bonds. Oh, yeah. There's a lot of Muslims in Wait, Nigeria. wait. Sharia? You have to, it has to be Sharia-compliant? Yeah, so yeah. If you want to invest in Sharia law, you need to buy suck hawk. <laughs> oh, you have to have 10 suck hawks. <laughs> yeah. If you want your fucking wife to wear, look like a ninja or whatever. Dude, yeah. you got to let, you gotta let conser- conservative radio know about this. Yeah. Mm-hmm. People that think Sharia law is coming to the States. It's coming, dude. They're trying to do that this caravan. suck hawk shit. What the fuck's going on? They're talking about there's like a fucking Mad Max-style caravan full of Mexicans yeah. and Muslims coming to the border. I, I, I've become what? so racist that I legitimately thought the Nigerian business news shit would be like, I'm opening a Sandos. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're rich as hell, yeah, dude. It's like <laughs> a huge country. <laughs> it's like a wildly influential country. <laughs> yeah, they're in the world. super powerful. <laughs> yeah. it's like, and all, I'm like, what the fuck is this? A thousand firms bid for government contracts? <laughs> yeah. like, this isn't funny at all. <laughs> <laughs> My friend. Yeah, FMC hey, Bank launches limited personal and business banking proposition. This isn't... <laughs> Where's yeah, the sandal dude. stuff <laughs> that I imagined in my head? No, they're... <laughs> <laughs> we are selling Bluetooth speakers, Bluetooth headsets, and sandals together. No yeah. longer will you have to buy uh, yeah. them separately. MP3 Who is sandals? excited for Bluetooth sandals? <laughs> <laughs> Bluetooth sandals. <laughs> a million dollars. <laughs> that, yeah. that sets off a fucking well, bidding I would, war. I want 10 million suck cock. <laughs> I, I would give you 10 million suck It has suck to be cock. compliant with Sharia law. Anyway, Damn. guys. But yeah, uh, it's a good funny. time to mention BetDSI.com. That is yeah, a bring place it up. where you can gamble on as Nigerian businesses. As many suck cocks businesses. as you want. Yeah, BetDSI.com, now available in Nigeria. Yeah. 100% certified to work here in Nigeria. <laughs> in come town, sponsored by BetDSI.com, an award-winning mobile app. Mm-hmm. Would you, let me tell you, I have been yeah. in, in the sandal business my entire life. <laughs> and there's one thing I love doing with my sandals, is wearing them to the gambling district. <laughs> The Internet Cafe to log on to BetDSI.com and place bets on which sports teams will do something. Mm -hmm. And they have an award-winning mobile app and 24-7 customer service that you can call up any time and say, I am a prince, I need $20 million, and I will give back to you. And they will give it to you. And they will do it. I have scammed so much money out of this company. (laughs) That's right. Bet they have an DSI. award-winning uh, mobile app. Already said it. Uh, they offer live in-game, live in-game wagering. wagering. You know mm-hmm. what that means? Change your mind. Just fucking hedge your shit, Who gives dude. A shit. You know, hedge your bets. That's a, I, I tell people hedge your bets all the time. You know, Same. I say buy low, sell high. I bet on both lo- teams every game. Every game, you can't lose that you way. Can't lose. Boston boys versus the Los Angeles faggots. Yeah, Los, Ang- <laughs> Los Angeles. Los Angeles. Homos, the, the ho- queers. Mm-hmm. That's right, right. That's the the L.A. Big. Homos. Yep. Look, you go online right now, and the odds are in your favor here. Put every dollar you have on the You've Dodgers. Ever made even dollars you haven't made? Dodgers yet. in three. I'm take out a now. bet. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to this. Take I'm out a bet. the World Series now. The Dodgers in three. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we watched the World Series. Oh no, you, are we done with Reed? Take out a loan. No, we're not done with the read yet. Take, I out, a loan. Intro. Take out a loan. It doesn't matter what the interest First is. because these are winners. What do you mean the read? This is a real website that I use That we myself. love using. Yeah. That I, I love using it. I go online. I use it all the time. Mm-hmm. I made $400, Look, dude. dude I'm, I'm a multi-billionaire. Mm-hmm. 
And the only thing that keeps me from killing myself is winning more and just more money. Wagering on BetDSI. Just betting, com. yeah, the wild gambles. Beatmeoffguys.com. Beatmeoffguys.com. <laughs> and you can go there. And you can check out the website. And by the way, you can also email us at stav at beatmeoffguys.com. Yeah. Oh, did you get Adam, those emails? Adam, Adam, I think and you Adam too. Friedland at beatmeoffguys.com. Oh, you got them both. Yeah, I got them both. Oh, so d- I locked it down. <laughs> I knew that the second one might be uh, you know, available. I wanted to make it mine. Mm-hmm. That's pretty cool. Anyways, what are your picks for the World Series? World Series, I'm saying <laughs> Boston. I guess I got to root for the. I'm picking the Dodgers. Cause I'm picking with my cock. Yeah, and my I'm heart. saying. I'm telling you, dude. Dodgers in three. Dodgers yeah. in three. We watched game one today. They had a chance to steal it, but they did not. Strike ass. Strike ass. Strike ass. ass. Uh, two. Uh, fuck. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Joe. Joe. Fuck. <laughs> This yeah, is we Joe a and a grand slam. Oh, uh, no, it's balls. It was just ball a ball, ball three. <laughs> so, sorry, folks. It looked like he was going to hit that one out of the park. And now I'm being told no one was on base, actually. <laughs> uh, sorry about that, folks. The game, <laughs> the game was yesterday. The yeah. game will begin shortly. I'm and- sorry. I'm, I'm watching... Dharma and Greg on my phone. <laughs> <laughs> I was watching Family Guy. And, uh, Stewie got a hit. S- yeah, Stewie made me laugh about the an evil monkey in Chris's closet. <laughs> and we're all reminded of the evil monkey inside of ourselves. That in the great, the great, beautiful game of the divine sport. Labella Gamo. Labella Gamo. <laughs> <laughs> Fenway Park Baseball of Dooch yeah. Fenway Park A cathedral Of the sport Of the sport of the bells Of the bells of Coming baseball. to bat now Is jo- uh, Georgie Christmas <laughs> George <laughs> Christmas <laughs> Number 20 the, Looks like a 3 From here I can't, The script is kind of weird I'll say 28 yeah. Or 23 And another good job By the players The player gets it And a he great. hits the ball <laughs> And that is actually Joe Buck yeah, did Joe say, that. Did say that. Joe and Buck another did say that's how it started. Yeah. Yeah. He, did say, he said another, another, another good job by Austin good job Barnes. By the catcher. Yeah. <laughs> by the catcher. Austin and the Barnes. players are going out on the field. Yeah. And, and one thing's for certain, we will see something happen today. And not many people know this, but uh actually in when it goes back to uh LA they will be. They will not be using designated hitters. DH, uh, it's going to be only National League the baseball. D standing for designated H for hitter <laughs> and for <laughs> that's strike two. Hitler, that's strike two. And I'm sorry, that was actually a, a double. That's Take actually a moment to Christmas. remind you that this game is brought to you by BetDSI.com. <laughs> Play, bet, win. Oh right, oh, and yeah. use promo code. <laughs> use come promo code twenty five. Come twenty. Come one twenty. Come one twenty. Sorry. Come 120. <laughs> Come 120. Not the gay shit Adams. You get an extra 120% of strike ass. <laughs> Sorry. Strike ass. No, that was okay. ball. Uh, strike four. And it's a grand slam. Oh. Whoop. Okay. Oh, that was ball two. It was, yeah. <laughs> Got me again. <laughs> Another that's, good job. And here comes J- George Christmas again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's Derek Jeter. <laughs> and the Derek. wind up. Oh, he's, oh, he's walking up the mound. <laughs> wow. Oh, yeah, they've got... Now an older pitcher is actually coming yeah. to the mound. <laughs> I'm, I'm just be, I'm, talking to I'm him? I'm being told now pitcher? that there's a third baseball team on the field <laughs> that wears gray uniforms, <laughs> and they're allowed to boss people around. <laughs> <laughs> the rules of the divine game ever-changing. At this cathedral. Like Game of Dude, like yeah. Game of Della, Bella Dude. Like life itself, the game, the rules of the game are constantly in flux. In flux? And in fact, maybe there won't. No Here we one are will at the bottom of the seventh. How many more innings will this game go? No one knows. <laughs> it's hard to tell. Once again, Boston's up thirteen. <laughs> <laughs> Could go. <laughs> and the I'm, frankly, I'm surprised <laughs> yeah. it's still going We're on. We're sitting folks. here at the top of the eighth, thirteen to one. And it's any anybody's guess how many innings this game. I think game they played a twenty or something, <laughs> or maybe fifteen, or which win by two. It's first to twenty-one, <laughs> I believe. And the Dodgers are on their fifteenth reliever, <laughs> and the score is twenty-two to zero. <laughs> and we're looking at extra innings here. I'm sorry, that was those were the K's. I keep counting. The, let's just strikeouts. Yeah. I don't know what the score is. Folks. <laughs> yeah. K, which stands for of K course, stands two. for OK by me. <laughs> <laughs> Extra 120% when you use promo code COME120 at BetDSI.com. You get 120% bonus on your deposit. And that is a grand slam. Oh, sorry. Again. 
I don't. I keep doing that, and <laughs> I, I really apologize. But I, it, I'm sorry. It's so exciting. I, I witnessed <laughs> one, and I keep hoping it's going to uh, happen. Joe, can you please stop watching Family Guy on your phone? <laughs> <laughs> I'm being told the game has been over, and I am, wa- yeah. I am just uh, announcing over the Family Guy feed for yeah. the last Next 20 up, minutes. The child Cleveland. has been hit with a foul ball. And you can only hope that she has Down syndrome or some kind of intellectual disability <laughs> that this does not affect her life in any significant way. As we all know. Strike two. Strike two. Uh, he walked. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> now, and a lot of people don't know this, but there's uh, actually... Strike two, and it looks like the inning's over. And it's over. <laughs> strike two. Two outs. One out. Uh, how does it... It's tough to keep track, but... One out, and that is the... That's Middle it. of the ninth. And we'll, that'll be it here, folks. And they won't even bother batting, I don't think. And he strikes out the side with nine balls. <laughs> <laughs> Once you walk everyone, if they if everyone makes their way around the bases, we then are the witnessing is over. baseball history here. Uh, it looks like the the batter is allowed to advance to first base without actually having to hit the ball because, <laughs> because the he's pitcher just, was so bad. He's just the talked the thrown. pitcher into letting him do it. Yeah. Incredible psychological warfare. This is, here, we're folks. witnessing baseball history here. <laughs> the batter has been hit by the ball. <laughs> <laughs> Unprecedented in the annals the of the guy, divine cathedral. Who's never ever <laughs> seen baseball? Not even like he's only for sort of familiar with it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He went to a game one time when he was seven years old. <laughs> this guy kind of reminds me of Benny the Jet Rodriguez <laughs> from the film from the film Sandlot, Sandlot. <laughs> which is really the only thing I've seen. And, and it's I, really going to be cried a shame because I couldn't understand why the dog was different sizes throughout the movie. <laughs> no one ever explained it to me, and my father beat me for crying. <laughs> And called me a faggot who will never have the same job as him. <laughs> <laughs> what I don't understand is uh, who, why, how many balls do they have? Because in the Sandlot, it seemed like that was only, you know, f- seemed pretty tough to use a baseball. Mm-hmm. The umpire is calling that ball three. It's interesting. It looks to be the same ball. He has been throwing the entire time. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure that's going to be challenged. They're going to send that one to, <laughs> to New York. <laughs> and we, there is no chance we're not seeing a challenge on that one. <laughs> I'm almost certain that is the same ball. I watched it be thrown back to the pitcher. <laughs> and, uh. that, and it looks like we're, not, we're probably going to wait till the end of the game for that challenge. As is customary, all of the challenges happen <laughs> after <laughs> after as, the as game. a gentleman's agreement between the two uh, coaches. And it's a grand slam. Oh, sorry. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I just want to see a goddamn grand slam. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't that be great, folks? <laughs> Coming up after Family Guy, the Cleveland show. Yeah. Sorry, Chief Joe? Wahoo. Coming up on my phone after Family Guy, <laughs> Star Trek The Next Generation. <laughs> a couple Vine compilations. And join me throughout the 6th and 7th Nene. as I recreate the UPN network <laughs> through streaming services. <laughs> UPN, 1997. The last year I was happy. <laughs> I'm gay. I'm gay. And that's strike at or strike, strike one. Ass. <laughs> <laughs> strike ass is what started it all. Strike ass. Strike ass. <laughs> Another good job. <laughs> yeah, baseball's pretty fucking gay, if you ask me. Yeah, it's not. It's really not exciting anymore. Why do you say anymore? Because there's As better we move sports. In to the six, we wonder once again: Am I allowed to go to the bathroom? <laughs> Can I go to the bathroom? And never mind, I, I will be pissing in this commemorative Pepsi cup. The divine question, <laughs> how we, how mad would people be if I just got up and went to the bathroom <laughs> right now? Folks, you know it, I know it. Nothing really happens in baseball. Mm-hmm. You can take it from here for a couple days. And d- d- will people find out that I'm Skyping in from my garage? <laughs> <laughs> I'm Skyped in. My feed stopped working. Uh, have strike out. Calling the yeah. He's t- two out, two outs and a ball. And someone here, is folks. definitely coming to the plate uh, Joe, now. Joe, he's actually yeah. going up yet. It's actually. <laughs> and look at the, you can see a lot of movement stretch. out on the field. Players <laughs> moving at various speeds. There appear some of them standing still, <laughs> stoic almost, like the Big Ben, Big Ben Tower. The Time Teller of London. <laughs> that classic good tower that we all love. 
<laughs> he's just he's at home. He thought he could cheat his way, just Skype his way in, but the feed isn't working. Yeah. He's, he's screaming calling. it on Reddit. <laughs> <laughs> That's playing on Fox. <laughs> <laughs> There's just no reason for him to make the noises. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's Buy me some peanuts effect. and Cracker Jacks. They have a prize in them, and we all have a prize in ourselves. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's called talent and ability, which we can see out here tonight in some of these yo fine young men demonstrating <laughs> why athleticism is the answer to South America's obsession with fascist fascism mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. greatest ideology <laughs> <laughs> the divine ideology a cathedral to thought people that like ba baseball probably would be cool with fascism yeah it's so old fashioned you know what i mean yeah it's the the it'd be nice the national past it's nice time. and or it'd be orderly they used to lot not allow blacks to do it yep they got that guy in boston yawkey so he's racist as shit i think yeah who's yawkey boston dude a fan of theirs? No, the uh, I think he was the owner. Oh, now it's the Dunkin' Donuts guy, no? Duncan? No, the Kra it's Robert Duncan Kraft. Robert Kraft. No, Robert Kraft owns the Patriots. He doesn't own the. He doesn't own Boston. No, so it's the guy that owns Liverpool. Oh, nice. He owns the Red Sox. John Henry. Does he? I think his name is John Henry. Damn! Fuck look the at the Sox? U.S. ambassador in Nigeria. Just a white ass guy. Yeah, but he looks like a fake businessman. Yeah, he definitely does. They're like, who are we gonna send over there? Oh, a businessman that a child came up with. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Just slicked back black hair. Yeah. Beautiful fucking hard cock. Nigeria is seventh largest integrated market in the world. Damn. Yeah. Nigeria. William is Symington it. is the name of the US ambassador. What's the top six? I don't know. US Cali is number two. Its own market? Dude, Cali. What happened to California seceding after Trump got elected? That would be cool. Uh, I don't think they ever they got should, around they to should it. They're Mexico. probably too stoned. <laughs> got him. <us>, got him, <laughs> <Got us>, Adam. <laughs> I'm trying to get my dick sucked on the city opera house, the top of it. On the point at the mm -hmm. top of the That's shell? Right. You think I could do it? Yeah, there's no record of this William Symington guy being the U.S. ambassador to Nigeria. What, do you, what do you mean? You just saw a picture of a guy? And so says the Nigerian newspaper. I think this guy's just pretending to be the U.S. ambassador. He's just never been there? No, I think this guy, like if you Google William Symington, some guy from the 1700s comes up. Well, there might be more than one. Ambassador. I hope this is just some guy lying to Nigerians. <laughs> no, nah, they're too crafty, dude. They're too fucking crafty, th those Nigerians. Oh, uh, no. He's real. That sucks. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry for your loss. Yeah. In this tough-ass, yeah. trying-ass time. Yeah, pr preceded by James F. Entwistle. Entwistle? Entwistle. Mm, Pretty same cool. name wow, as this the guy. bassist from The Who. <sighs> no. How about The Pooh? John Entwistle. That's not his name. How about the Me Too? What? Me Too? He said Me Too Who? Me Too Who? It's like, but he says it like, like, I what? Got what? But it's Me what? Too. I got Me Too. My raped. name's Hank Hill, and I've been raped in rape accessories. <laughs> me Too, something? I, I sell Me Too and Me Too accessories. I've been jerked off against my Have you my said will? limited Me Too on the show? Limited me too. Like, like clothes for little girls that got raped. No, God, damn. God damn, dude. What? What? <laughs> what? It's just sad. <laughs> what? Yeah, little girls getting raped. Yeah, that's fucked up. But it's good that they. We've have clothes. literally never talked about ch children getting raped before on the show. This might be the first time. Yeah, we did. I'm just. I'm playing, dude. You're playing. Just How about me too? And it's the guy from Hook getting raped. Yeah, there there we we're go. Back, we're back, dude. baby. Yeah. Oh, right. Captain, stop fucking me ass. Is who, that how Smee was talks? that uh, Mario who played Smee? Yes, it Bob was. Hoskins. Bob Hoskins. Bob Hoskins. And it's not. He's not Mario. That's literally the only thing I knew him from my whole life. Mario. Super Mario. I knew him as Smee. You know Smee. Smee. Yeah. I knew him as Eddie Valiant, Who Framed Roger Rabbit. Yep. True. I thought I was like, wow, Smee is in Roger Rabbit. Yeah. But I saw Hook first. My man Dustin Hoffman. 
Given the performance of a lifetime. Definitely. Hook. Definitely. I love having uh, gay sex love, with Peter Pan. I, tr- I want to trap Peter Pan. We got to find Peter. I'm going to look up. I'm going to find Peter Pan. <laughs> I'm going to take my sword and I'm going to cut his pants off and I'm going to suck his cock. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> Listen, here's the plan. I'm going to find Peter Pan. And when I find him, I'm going to use his magic to get my dick hard. <laughs> Think hard my, ass dick thoughts. My dick hasn't been hard for fifteen years. <laughs> Listen, I'm trying to get my dick hard. I can't really do Dustin Hoffman. No, that was good. <clears throat> it was a good like Rain Man Dustin. I don't Hoffman. know. I don't know, Mrs. Robinson. I just don't know if you're you're allowed to suck my cock. <laughs> That movie's about an old bitch that fucks a young man. And then basically. he fucks the daughter. Whoa, he gets them both? He's yeah. a pimp. That rules. And then they run away to get married. Where have you gone, Joe DiMaggio? Please come back and let me suck your cock. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I am gay. Yeah. I'm gay, gay, gay. Here's yeah. to you, Mr. Robinson. <laughs> I watch you mow the lawn and beat off. <laughs> Through the blinds. <laughs> and then <he> the dad. <laughs> Through the blinds. <laughs> when my parents aren't home from work yet, I watch you mow the lawn. <laughs> and I get my dick hard and I beat off in the kitchen. I j- ejaculate all over all the dishes. And then my mom comes home and she tells herself it's not come. Here's to you, Mr. Robinson, <laughs> helping me discover my homosexuality <laughs> from across the street. <laughs> I briefly dated your daughter. I abused that poor girl just to get into your room <laughs> and steal your underwear. <laughs> I'm going to rape you. Ba, ba, da, ba. I'm going to rape Mr. Robinson. Well, I'm 17 years and old and I'm strong enough now. <laughs> To kidnap a grown man <laughs> and rape him in his own garage. <laughs> and he'll never tell the police because it's so humiliating. <laughs> Where have you gone, Joe DiMaggio? <laughs> Nation turns its lonely eyes to you and beats off <laughs> <laughs> and sucks your cock. It's Paul Guyman. <laughs> Paul Guyman, dude. Yeah. Damn, honestly, and guy, if you really wanted to go on a gay rape spree Hello, and guy had a time machine, my old friend. What do you go mean? to the 50s and start raping it. Yeah, you could rape yeah. guys all day long. Yeah. In the 50s? Yeah. Probably. That was the best well, time to rape men. People would just men. call you a, a real cr- cr- uh, crackpot. <laughs> they'd call you a no, real... They just never, hey, just no what the hell is going on here, hey, pal? what's the big idea? That's Where my ass, Oh, my pal. God! <laughs> 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 what hey. the hell is this? <laughs> I thought only I could do this. <laughs> <laughs> to women. <laughs> hey, boy, I think you're mistaken, pal. That's my ass. Yeah. <laughs> Shh, I'm from a distant future. <laughs> I'm a cryptocurrency millionaire. <laughs> I have everything I want, <laughs> except the ability to rape powerful men. <laughs> I don't know what rape is. Just go back in time and fuck Dwight D. Eisenhower. That would rule, dude. I would love to just rape some guy who was like a radio operator in Korea. He came back. He's like, oh, yeah, you know, you just work hard. You work hard for the company. And, you know, I just make sure my kids go to a good school. And, you know, I'm like, yeah, that's a cool story, man. Yeah, um, I'll give you a ride back to your place. I'm headed over to that side of town anyway. Yeah, hop in my Packard. Well, I don't know. Is this which way are you going? No, I'm taking the new Parkway. They got a new Parkway. <laughs> well, I don't know if I really live off the Parkway. <laughs> hey, listen, you want to fucking drive? Get your own car, man. Yeah. Well, did you just use the F word? <laughs> I'm gonna be using a lot more than that. Be chloroform. <laughs> so he's knocked no, out. He's knocked out. He wakes out. up, tied up. Mm. He's sitting in a chair where you cut the or cut a hole in the bottom. No, so he's in. Just, he's yeah. He's in a coffin. Mm. Oh. He's in a fucking coffin. He Pitch thinks he's black. been buried alive. But he's got and a zipper lighter. He's screaming. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Give him a lighter so he knows he's in the coffin. Yeah. And then there's a little note that says you've been buried alive. But he doesn't know that he's only just sort of suspended above a, another cot that I've set up. There's a hole cut <laughs> uh, around his ass. <laughs> <laughs> and then while he's screaming at the top of his lungs, thinks he's you know, six feet underground, I just start fucking his ass. <laughs> From underneath the coffin. <laughs> Damn, dude. I thought just raping him would be enough. No. 
but you no. want him to feel like he's going to die and some demon is fucking his ass. Yeah, <laughs> Satan himself. Yeah, and then I, you know, there's a little camera in there recording the man being raped and screaming. Mm-hmm. And, you know, mm-hmm. some just some fifties businessman asshole. From the future. Mm-hmm. I bring a camera from the future, and then I take the footage back to modern day, and I step out of the time machine. And I call a press conference, and I'm like, you "Still think white men can't help?" You still think white men are bad? Look what I did for all, all, all the oppressed people in the world. I went back to the source. I found the white guy that created the patriarchy. And I tricked him into thinking he was buried alive. And then I raped him in a coffin. <laughs> Hero. You did it. Yeah. <laughs> and what if you go back in time and it's a perfect society? But you have to fuck a bunch of those business guys. Yeah. Would you do it? That'd well, it depends how far back in time. Because there is a statute of limitations. Here's to on you, Mr. Crimes. Robinson. I'm going to put you in a makeshift coffin and fuck your ass. <laughs> fuck your ass. I'm going Convince to. Convince you that you're, you're suffocating to death six feet under the ground and then you get raped. <laughs> now, do you just What happens leave? after he gets raped? Do you yeah. kill him or you let no, him go? You, no. No, no. No. I mean, death would be. You, you, you give it a couple oh. years, he'll kill himself. Yeah. yeah. Death is would be exactly a, uh, yeah. a cop out. Part of the punishment is he has to live with that yeah. forever. Uh-huh. And that's what you get, pal, for doing redlining. Yeah. For making it so blacks couldn't yeah. live in middle class yeah, homes. For being a racist. And that's why we raped Yeah, I got him. a white picket fence for you right here. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. My yeah. dick and balls, the one that pal. They, the one that they fucking tied Matthew Shepard up to. <laughs> <laughs> for the people like is you to get. Yeah. That's crazy, bro. He speaks French, Thai, and some pigeon. He's married to Pamela G. Schmall and Who has is? two children. The ambassador? The ambassador uh, Nigeria. James F. Entwistle. Who? James F. The ambassador Entwistle. to Nigeria. He's the former <laughs> United States ambassador <laughs> to Nigeria. Oh, he's not anymore? It's a good time to remind you guys that if you go to MacWeldon.com, <laughs> you can pick up some rape-proof underwear. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Well, Mike Weldon is not <laughs> really sure that you will not get raped. You are not. Mike Weldon makes no legal promises about you whether or no not you will get raped. No promises about the c- whether or not. Look, if it, whatever. It, look, we're sorry that happened to you, but <laughs> we didn't actually say that that's how the underwear. <laughs> well, and listen, MacWeldon.com believes in smart design, premium fabrics, mm-hmm. and simple shopping. Uh, so they that's really what do. I like: simple shopping. <laughs> Simple shop, simple Stephen here for simple shopping. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> yep, I got a special computer that only has four buttons on it, and, and three of them take me to MacWeldon.com. Well, one of them is for new underwear, which obviously I need because I misjudged my own independence. <laughs> I thought maybe I was ready for underwear, <laughs> but I go through those things like cigarettes. <laughs> They kind of underwear is kind of like Pringles for me. <laughs> Once you shit one pair, you just can't <laughs> stop. Is <laughs> that <laughs> retarded guy that's like, man, I shit an entire box of underwear last time. <laughs> Stevie's birthday party was yeah. crazy. I've just binge watched Blues Clues and shit an entire box of underwear. <laughs> MacWeldon.com, simple shopping. <laughs> you can check them out. Super easy. You go on there. You, ch- you check them out. But dude, I, like, I love mm-hmm. checking out these websites. Me too, <laughs> man. I really like it a lot. I love checking them out, dude. One of my favorite things to do is go on a website, see what they got in. Just, the just, store. Really, just really check out the yeah, situation. Surf, a lot of the, they got a hyperlink. Surfing the web. Surfing. Click on every hyperlink. Hyperlinks. Web rings. Mm. Just surfing the web. Menus. Checking out websites. MacWeldon.com is one of my favorites. Like I, I open up my internet browser, mm-hmm. and th- my home page comes up. Mm-hmm. What's that? Lycos.com. Uh-huh. <laughs> search engine. It's got a dog on there. Uh-huh. Beautiful. Oh, yeah. With um, the spot, right? Spot the spot. Time. And uh, now I know one thing's for certain. You can't trust anything you read on the internet. For sure. Anyone can put anything they want on there. So true. But I check out websites, and one of the ones I've recently checked out was geocities.com slash Mac Weldon. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and, you know, don't let all of the dancing lizards in the background mm-hmm. and the mm-hmm. shit that follows your mouse around <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 fool yeah. you. They are the, fire, the fireball the, comet. You can trust them with, look, there's a counter on the bottom. <laughs> Apparently I'm the, the 1,282nd visitor. <laughs> you know? 
And that counter is real. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And it says all the flags of all the countries. It says all the flags of all the countries. Go go while you're there. Sign the guest book. Sign the guest list. Guest list. They got a guest book on there that you can can check out. Mm Mm-hmm. And, uh... Anyways, they got a line of antimicrobial silver underwear. Ion, yeah. Uh, excuse me? It was silver ions? No. Or something? no. No, it's not. Silver what? Antimicrobial. Are man. you joking around? Silver line. Silver are you trying lining? to fuck this read up, Adam? Yeah. What are you talking about? Why are you trying, trying to, to fuck this read up? This is, this, people pay money for this, man. I was just trying You're to You're being disrespectful to, to our corporate par- partner. Our corporate partner, our beloved partner, Mack Weldon, who has been with us from the beginning. They never, f- never flinched. Unlike you, who has who have requested quietly to quit the show numerous times. Mm-hmm. But you, you won't said, I will you came quit. back. You said, all I'm asking for is 50% of the profits for the rest I've of my life. I've never asked for that. <laughs> and he, you're just not happy with the $40 an episode you get paid, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I really that's appreciate more than the fair, forty dollars. That's more than a fair. <laughs> and I said, if I could wage. pay my way to Australia, <laughs> yeah. I'd love to hang out with you guys on tour. <laughs> mm. But you know, we told you. We I got took our... East China Air here. <laughs> it was you were in quite the an experience. You were in the boat. You were in the freight section of a boat that we came did, here. We did. We did Tai yeah. Chi halfway through the Dude, flight. We, that Chinese airline has got to be so goddamn funny. I know. The so in-flight chickens. meal is just like a live rat, <laughs> yeah. just in a cage. And you're like, "Excuse me, what? A, like, how do I even eat this?" Like, "Oh yes." And then they just come back with a blowtorch. <laughs> oh, flambe, very nice. <laughs> oh, American style. Cooked. Mac Weldon's got a line of silver, naturally antimicrobial shirts and underwear, which means that they reduce odor by doing something. Sucking your cock while it's you science. sleep. Yeah, I guess they do something like that. They mm-hmm. reduce the odor by sucking your cock. <coughs> and they got cool shit on there, man. Mm-hmm. They got crew necks. It's almost crew neck season back in New York, which I will never return to. Yeah, I'm on an international we're stay tour. on the road forever. We're expats. Until I finally find, you know, the, uh, the building with a nice you. view. And I take a look over the edge, and I say, you know what? This is it. This is where it happens. This, I'm mm-hmm. just going to... Why fucking wait? And then mm-hmm. you know what happens at the splat! bottom? Splat! <laughs> no, no splat. Blammo! <laughs> no. You know what happens? <laughs> fucking lights out. And no. the only thing you, you find... You go into one of those suicide... Uh, the p- fire department air-filled suicide landing things. And we no. all give you a round of applause, and we're all wearing tuxedos, and we say. I feel like if I got gamed and I fell on something, if you drove me to actual suicide and I landed on one of those things, I'd be like, I still just want to kill myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. More so now. That's so much more embarrassing. Yeah. Is that what happened to the game? Yeah, they trick him into killing himself, and then he's like, "They're like, gotcha," and he's like, "Wow, thanks, thanks, you guys. That's, That's crazy." Yeah. Who plays his brother? Michael Douglas's brother? Sean Penn. Sean Penn. That's right. It's a game, Connie. They're playing a game with you. That's a good Michael. I'm gay. <laughs> Are you saying that I'm gay? <laughs> Damn, Are dude. You, got his ass. <laughs> Are you telling me that I'm gay? <laughs> Did he tr- they trick him into killing himself? Yeah. They yeah. trick him into... It's Connie. They're trying to make me suck their dick. <laughs> he, he keeps but the movie ends the... with him on his knees <laughs> sucking some guy's cock. Is this what you want? <laughs> Is this, this isn't part of the game, Michael. Is this how your game ends? <laughs> because I'll do it. He's just sucking off a homeless guy. <clears throat> yeah. And then he takes off his prosthetic cock. Mm. But he rubbed his real cock on it so it tastes like cock. Mm. If there's residue. one thing I want, it's to suck cock for my 42nd birthday. <laughs> yeah, what is it's like a That was the age my gift. dad died when he came out of the closet. <laughs> he was struggling with things ever since. Uh, Michael Douglas is tricky. Is tricky? tricky? Yeah, cuz he just sounds like a guy. No, <laughs> you were doing it good just now. I was doing what? Mhm. What was I doing? You're doing Michael Douglas. Is this it? Yeah, it's good. Okay. <laughs> that fucking sucks, dude. If anyone ever plays mind games with me, I'll fucking... I'll take a hatchet to their oh, balls. Oh, I've been playing mind games with you. Nah, dude. It's a 12-month project. You just go to MacWeldon.com and use promo code... <laughs> Cometown. Cometown to receive 20% <laughs> off your order. And if you don't like the underwear, 
you can suck my cock. <laughs> Michael Douglas. Michael, or you could also Michael uh, Douglas ask here. You can get your Michael money Douglas back here. Hey, this is Michael Douglas, and I'm here for MacWeldon.com. <laughs> this is officially Michael Douglas, <laughs> the actual actor. Wow, great guest to meet you. on Come Town. This is not an impersonation. Mm-hmm. It's the real Michael Douglas. And Michael was just telling me off mic. That Ever since I got I mouth fuck cancer, his wife better than him, Catherine. Yeah. Ever since cool. Catherine left me for some guy who doesn't have mouth cancer, I knew I was going to need new underwear. <laughs> <laughs> and so I went use promo code <laughs> Cumtown at MacWeldon.com, and I received twenty percent off my order. And the ones you didn't like, Michael, you just... I, fu- I shoved them in Catherine's pussy. Th- and they didn't even ask for them back. Mm-hmm. They didn't so ask for them back. You could put them right in that pussy, you the, the HPV-ridden up, pussy. And who wouldn't ask for those back? I would ask for them back. Initially, I, would ask. I thought I got dick cancer from wearing Mac Weldon underwear, <laughs> and I'm told that that's not true. <laughs> so I'm now endorsing them again. Mac Weldon definitely does not give you dick cancer. MacWeldon.com does not give you dick cancer. <laughs> <laughs> it's not available in select cities. MacWeldon.com does not give you dick <laughs> <laughs> Don't like the underwear, you can keep it. No questions asked. That's right. Put it in Catherine Zeta Zones as a pussy. I'm gay. I'm gay. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Michael Douglas, and I'm a gay actor. Hi, <laughs> 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 I'm. <laughs> Hi, I'm gay actor Michael Douglas Roasted. Here, here for Live Aid. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm I'm gay actor John Hamm. No, wait, I, I can't am, do John. I am Javier no, Bardem and I'm gay. Who's that? That's Javier Bardem, dude. Javier Bardem. Javier Bardem. I'm Javier no, goes, Bardem uh, yeah, and I'm gay. Don't put it in your pocket where it becomes... Just another used condom. <laughs> <laughs> Which it is. <laughs> you know, today is, friendo. Today is the day you become gay. <laughs> <laughs> I am gay actor. How we are about them. Flip it. Yeah. Flip my cock. Call it. Well, how can I call it if I don't know what I'm calling? <laughs> you're calling whether or not you're gay. <laughs> Wait, but is that I'm the not guy gay. in the convenience yeah. store? Yeah. But I'm not gay. Yes, you are. <laughs> but I haven't even called it yet. <laughs> hey, look, shut up. I do the mind games. <laughs> Don't call me out. Man. How do you do Woody Harrelson? What she is he something Yeah, he's got a little sh- Yeah. Sh- listen, this guy Anton Sugar is gay. Wait, Woody Harrelson was in that movie, wasn't yeah, he? he was. Yes he was. He was the cop. Yeah. Llewellyn's what? like, I, um, 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 I, I think I got he, it. He was? I don't need to, I can avoid oh, this Oh, wait, guy. no, no. Tommy Lee Jones is a cop. Who is Woody? Woody, he played a cop. Woody is the other bounty the other, hunter. The other bounty hunter. Yeah, right, yeah. Right, okay. Does he get got? And Llewellyn is in bed, and he's like, I think I can avoid this guy on my own. Right, he and gets Woody hired Harrelson's by like, the company. Listen, you don't understand this. Yeah. Who's that company that hires him? So, I don't know, man. The, I'm trying to figure out the impressions company? just so I can say I'm gay as Woody Harrelson. <laughs> just Who do gives it. a shit what happens in the movie? It's a good movie. No I'm country. trying to... F- I'm, I don't know. I have never tried a Woody Harrelson well, impression I'm gay. before. Just do it. I'm gay. Have, what are you like a... What are you? Some kind of gay guy? I can't, f- I can't do it <laughs> no. now because you've interrupted me so many times. I'm sorry no, for interrupting. You can't do it because you're Publicly, bad I want to apologize. Bitch. No, it's like you just don't understand the fucking process in terms of doing impressions. What process? Dude, it's a delicate process. You have to like really have empathy for the character. <laughs> Tell me about the process. Look, What's your process like Look, now? dude. I, look, I'm the only one of us that's a professional actor. Okay. Dude, that's not so true. So these guys are called gay and make fun of. I like... I have empathy for you. You have respect. I have respect. Professional respect. I'm a professional actor, too. Hi, I'm gay actor Michael Douglas. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gay. <laughs> this is gay actor Michael Douglas. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, hmm, let's see. What are some other actors we can call gay? <laughs> um. <laughs> <laughs> um, hmm. Hey, I'm gay actor Stephen Dorff. <laughs> Steven Dorff, gay actor here. I'm gay how? Gay like a fag? Yeah. That's Joe Pesci. Joe Pesci. So, uh, what am I, like, uh, some kind of some kind of queer? <laughs> That's not, I don't even, Who's I can't that? remember what Pesci <laughs> no, sounds like. No. No. Why don't you do it's one like, then, tough I, guy, Adam? Queer? What? Yeah. You do it, bitch. Which actor? 
Jay, any actor. Any, do name any, one. Any, no, any, just name one, and then I'll do it. Any impression of any actor at all. You got to tell me name an actor. Any single, just do I'm any, a man of 10,000 impressions. Literal, uh, literally any actor. No, no, that's, I, I asked you to name one. Leonardo DiCaprio. Of course. And it, w- what do I have to say that he's gay? Well, I don't know. You do it, man. Take it away. Rose, don't you understand? I'm gay. <laughs> <laughs> but I love you. But I'm gay. But I'm gay. Um, and then she was, sinks the ship with her huge tits. I was going to say that, but Nick said it. Oh, cool. Okay, here's another one. Cool, cool that you were going to say something that I said. Okay, um, De- Dennis Hopper. Dennis Hopper? Mm-hmm. Of course. Easy. How about Dennis Bob? Hey, man, I'm gay, man. <laughs> I'm it, gay, brother. Uh, I'm gay, cool. man. You're Mark Maron and you're yeah, Dennis Ian. Hopper. And no, that's you're Dennis Ian Hopper. Ian Dance. <laughs> yeah. Listen, yeah. Ian and Mark Maron got it from the hop. <laughs> he was the original man. All right, Denzel Washington. It's Dennis Hopper oh, yeah. and Dick Ryder. I'm, a ga- I'm gay, man. This is also, <laughs> also, you're Morgan Freeman. And I am gay, man. <laughs> I'm freaking gay, man. You like having gay sex, Jake? <laughs> That's good. You know the thing about gay sex, Jake? It smells like pine salt, Jake. <laughs> you know what gay sex smells like, Jake? It smells like pine salt, Jake. What was in that? That was cum. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know you liked to smoke cum, Jake. (laughs) (laughs) It's not about what you know. It's about what you can prove. (laughs) Um... That's a good round of actors. I can't really gay. do Denzel either. No, no, that was that was great. It's his manner and serviceable cadence, but yeah, I do female actors better. I guess. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, do yeah you're doing a great Scarlett Johansson right now. Yeah, mm-hmm. thank you. You sound just like her. I appreciate that. Do uh, <laughs> do Juliet Julianne Moore. Julianne Moore. Wow, yeah. that's incredible. You just said her name like she would say it. Mm-hmm. What? Whoa. Thank you. Damn, dude, he's really good. Mm-hmm. Um, do Richard Simmons. Richard Spencer? Whoa. No, no, Richard Simmons. Oh. Yeah, you I'm d- gay. Yeah, that's you. Yeah, no, 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 no. no, don't do yourself. No, do yeah, Richard don't Simmons. do yourself. Do Richard Simmons. Yeah, stop toning it down. <laughs> Adam, go ahead. Uh, Whoa, it's back. <laughs> that's, a, that's incredible. I'm gay man. actor Michael Douglas. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the winner. <laughs> Damn. Hi, I'm gay actor Michael Douglas. <laughs> <laughs> we got it, folks. I don't know why that's so funny to me. Uh, hi, I'm gay actor Michael <laughs> Douglas here for the victims of Hurricane Katrina. <laughs> <laughs> We're raising money tonight. Me and my boyfriend are raising He's awareness. Here yeah. I'm here with my boyfriend raising <laughs> 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 this is a regular guy, not a famous guy at all. It's <laughs> just some eighteen-year-old guy <laughs> <laughs> holding I, hands with Michael Douglas. <laughs> I, I briefly stopped kissing my boyfriend yeah. to bring this important <laughs> yeah. message to you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, I'm gay actor Michael Douglas here with my boyfriend, who I briefly stopped kissing to raise money for victims <laughs> of Hurricane Michael. <laughs> <laughs> Take that, Michael Douglas. And that was a delightful message from gay actor Michael <laughs> Douglas. <laughs> is Kirk Douglas still around? Yeah, he is. He's is like, he? He's like 114 he can't years be old. Alive. He is, dude. Seriously? He looks horrible. He's 101 years old. I'm going to go fuck Damn, his old Spartacus. ass. Spartacus. Yeah. He's alive. Suck dick to kiss. Um, yeah. Mm-hmm. We, 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 did, we did Charlton Heston early on yep. the show, right? Yeah, yeah. The me Chinese, no Chinese. <laughs> oh, me no yeah. Reiki. Yeah. Me want to sucky. Sucky. <laughs> sucky. <laughs> did you say take this cock from my cold dead hands? I didn't, but yeah. you can say that if you want. That was yeah. mine. Good job. Just man. kidding. Just kidding. <sighs> Is the hashtag just kidding movement the answer to me too? <laughs> More at 11. No. Men pretending to rape women. No, it's not. T- it, yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> One reporter. Jim, please stop. <laughs> yeah, we yeah, told yeah. you not to do this story. <laughs> One reporter You're supposed has to be an talking answer. about that squirrel that's trapped in a vent yeah. at the school. 
a toddler was gone has gone missing in southeast this afternoon and also has the me too movement gone nope, too far no jim <laughs> okay i just wanted to test the waters out maybe some of our viewers <laughs> Want to chime in? Call in if you think the Me Too movement has gone too far. We don't no. take calls. This is a new show, Jim. Please write Jim, a letter. Jim, you do weather. <laughs> <laughs> Jim, stop it. It's going to be a sunny 72 <laughs> degrees in Bomberville <laughs> later this week with highs in the 80s and a 60% chance of precipitation. And many people are wondering, has the Me Too movement no. gone too far? No. Is it and a 100% chance of <laughs> un, uh, completely baseless accusations uh, being levied against uh, the local as, weatherman. At, and, and, and just let, we're just going to Go ahead and say this real quick. It might snow this week, and maybe Louis C.K. should be allowed to do sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> there has to be a chance for redemption. Don't cut my mic. <clears throat> Hi, I'm gay actor Michael Douglas, <laughs> here for the hashtag Me Too Has Gone Too Far. <laughs> As a gay man, I don't really yeah. care that women are getting <laughs> raped. <laughs> I'm gay and it doesn't affect me in any way. <laughs> <laughs> you can trust me. <laughs> oh, fuck. God damn. Well, uh, everybody. Hi, I'm I'm HIV negative gay actor <laughs> Michael Bugless. <laughs> I'm an HIV negative gay man. I know that prep is the only thing keeping me safe. Fatality. <laughs> Michael Bugless. <laughs> Michael Bugless. <laughs> Michael Bugless. <laughs> Uh, folks, well, if you want to hear classics like Michael Bugless, you gotta certain, you gotta come to the live shows and you gotta subscribe to subscribe the to our motherfucking Patreon, Patreon dot com slash come. If you don't subscribe, there are literally as many episodes as we have done. We have done that many a Patreon, so there's a huge backlog. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe to that. Yeah, we didn't. The money has gone up again because we didn't realize that people just don't know we have a Patreon. Yeah, mm -hmm. and it was hard to search for us on Patreon. And yeah, now we got the should, label you're off. Able to. Yeah. Um, so, so please, if you like this stuff, it really a lot of people mm -hmm. don't understand that this show has huge overhead. <laughs> we have a yeah. research team. You got to spend money to make it. Look, I, I spent all week with these poor, poor fucking college kids. And I'm like, find me all of the dumbest Nigerian businesses. <laughs> I want to find sandals that are made out of ice cream. Mm -hmm. Find me that businessman. They're like, I don't think that exists. Yeah. And I was like, why? And they're like, because. Because it's just racist, Mr. Mullen? And then I just beat that boy silly. That's right. In front of the entire conference room. And I said, nobody's allowed to play rock band anymore. Mm -hmm. For the week, I'm taking away... <laughs> Look, I spend $9,000 a day on this startup office. Yep. We have six floors in Midtown. Insane. And researching interns. And half of them are playing rock band and playing mm -hmm. ping pong half the time. We have a nap room, stand-up <laughs> desk, a Segway right. with a built-in espresso machine. Mm -hmm. You ride the Segway around, make yourself a little espresso drink. Yep. Anyways, that costs well over forty thousand. And the Segway can't do stairs, so, so you got to use your legs to use the stairs. And then there's another Segway at the bottom. Mm -hmm. Did you see that video of that escalator breaking? So good, yeah. hilarious. So Bunch of good. fucking dumb Italians yeah. getting trampled. Was it in Italy? Uh, Vincenzo yeah. Cinciaggio Baracchiato Giugi Escaladio. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. <coughs> oh, fuck. Escaladio. Scaraggio the boot. Who's taking my ass? Who's fucking taking my ass? Fuck the pussy, the faggot, the bitch, the caca, the pee poo poo. <clears throat> so yeah, again, that's the kind of stuff you you could pay money yeah, for. It's most of it is in Italian and Vietnamese. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A lot of people don't know I speak Vietnamese. Oh yeah, ding bong bang ding It's like just it's sort of more of the, most the most uh, uh, like pinbally of the Chinese languages. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. It's the most Chinese. Some dog bang dog dog Vietnamese. Dog bang gong gao gong tang gao ping gong gao ping gong ping ding ding. Wow, I didn't know you could rap. Ding ga gong da gong gong ba ge. You got flow, dude. Dude, bars flowing. <laughs> wow, he does his own beats. Yeah, that's Damn. Vietnamese, dude. That's awesome, bro. So, uh, yeah, listen to that. Melbourne babies, you motherfuckers, this Friday, come out. We're going to be at Baby Dick Ernie's. We're going to be at Baby Dick Ernie's in Melbourne. <laughs> oh, good night, Mike. Good night, yeah. All right, yeah, welcome to Baby Dick Ernie's. <laughs> 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 Home of gay actor Michael Douglas. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> is home away from home whenever he's out of America he mm -hmm. comes on down to baby, baby dick hannies <laughs> he's himself a sport of baby cam he's yeah. his favourite uh, we'll also be in Brisbane Brisbane on Sunday Sunday the 28th please buy tickets to that um, I will be What are, we should say Nashville too Alright, motherfucker, hold on. We're gonna yeah, be in why Nashville. Don't you pull the fuck on, dude. We're gonna be in Nashville on the Some motherfuckers 11th. over here looking at pictures of the man from Alvin and Shit. I yeah. haven't been looking at pictures in uh, at least twenty four hours. We're gonna be in Nashville. <clears throat> We're gonna be in on the eleventh, November. We're gonna be in Maybe Alabama on the 12th. <laughs> Probably not. Uh, we're going to be in Charlotte on the 13th and Atlanta on Wednesday the 14th. Doing a little run through the South that after we did this tour is going to be pretty gay probably. Cause we're going to It's going to be gay. We're going to Atlanta. cancel all of the shows. <laughs> yeah, we're really thinking about <laughs> we're canceling We're probably them. going to cancel the show. <laughs> uh, I don't want to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck all of our Wait, fans we're going in to those Charlotte cities. Before Atlanta, we're not going to Atlanta before Charlotte. I think it's I don't know. It's I don't remember. Maybe it's, it's the other way. It makes more sense to do it the other way around. Bro, I don't fucking know, dude. It's on my website if you wanted to look, guys. Go Stavi. to Stop's Stop's Biz. Um, I'll also be in like a movie theater or some shit in Long Island. They got a little front area where they do comedy. Strange Island. Strange Island on November thirtieth. Uh, please come out to that. That's also on my website, and then. DC, I will be headlining a full weekend at the DC Draft House. Four shows, two on Friday the 7th, two on Saturday the 8th. Come out to those. And then I'm doing a little run in Indianapolis on the 14th, um, Columbus on the 15th, and Cincinnati on the 16th. So come out, or I think I fucked that up. Indy on the 13th, Columbus on the 15th, mm -hmm. Cincy on the 5th. I don't fuck it. Just look at my website, man. I'll be at those cities. And, uh, like and then we said, international tour. International tour. We literally won't be in New York ever. Kuala yeah. Lumpur, Malaysia. Fucking Croatia. Split mm -hmm. Croatia. Going um, to Greece. Dubrovnik, we're going, we're going to Croatia. Dubrovnik. We're going to Ukraine. Don't ask, don't tell, baby. Mm -hmm. we're going and to I have to register as a Jew when I get there. <laughs> yeah. Do you? Yeah. They love the SS in Ukraine. <laughs> <laughs> no, they do, dude. I don't know if that was true. There I think was a it was Ukrainian a SS that, like, after the war, they were still like, no, but they're good. They, they're the best ones. They're pretty cool Even guy. Even when they're Soviet? I think they're pretty cool guy, yeah. <laughs> but to me, they're good. <laughs> Especially Damn. the ones that killed the Friedland family. <laughs> that w didn't happen in the Ukraine, bro. It happened there <laughs> in the Ukraine. No, it didn't. Yes, it did. You're wrong. Yes, it did. No, it didn't. <laughs> I'm gay actor Michael Douglas, I'm and I'm here actor. for the... Hi, I'm gay actor Michael Hi, I'm Douglas. Gay actor Michael and Douglas. it did in fact happen in Ukraine. <laughs> no, it didn't. <laughs> the Friedlands were all killed in the Ukraine. And they weren't Friedlands. Shut up. My name is gay actor Michael Douglas. <laughs> 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 yeah. I'm glad yeah, you guys are happy that people died. In Wait, my family. Well, we, silver linings play. People that would have probably been. Hi, I'm gay actor Michael Douglas, mine. and I'm happy that people died. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good night, everybody. Bye.